Hello, this video explains how to report data output to Word using our Rec 2. In the last video, we showed how to report output using our stock. So, to start using our Rec 2, you have to install this user written command before you can use it. It's not um, uh, already available in Stata. And then as I've mentioned in the previous video, you will have to show where you want the output to be stored. So I will change it to, I change the current working directory to where I want the result to be, the output to be stored. So I change it to a folder called panel data all right then then I run whichever model I want to run but let me explain the the rec2 you start with a command called a rec2 then you say using and using is just the, uh, the procedure using whichever name you want to give to so I say a rec2 because in the previous video I showed using as doc so I say as doc and column title so this model what is the column that you want to report so I say I want to run OLS for well, this model is OLS so that's the only difference between this and the previous and the uh, rest of the models so I show OLS I can give it a full name ordinarily squares or I can just abbreviate it I don't want to give um, labels to the variables. I want to use the same variable names. If you have given correct names of the variables, you could say label, you could allow the label uh, option. I want to show that um, the number of decimal places for the estimate should be four. I can change it to three. The default is three. I can change it to three. I can change it to two depending on how many models I have. It's better to have less number of decimal points if you have many models to put in one table. But this model I'm going to run, I'm going to run about five models, so I'll keep it at four. So that's uh, sufficient. So, and the default parameters to report are the coefficients and then the standard errors. And title, so you can give the title of your table. So I can say uh, table one, you can say table one, uh, impact of education on income. This is the main um, issue we have been looking at in the past videos about panel data analysis. Then the next thing is to say that I want the result in Word. So you should have to go to Word. And R square will be reported. And I also want the standard errors to be reported. And then this one, you can add whatever node. What are you doing? I'm reporting OLS, random effects, fixed effects, and fixed effect Hausman and Taylor, and then GMM, GMM models. So I can type all of them. Then you say replace. Okay, so if I run this model, then I should have, uh, after running a pull OLS together with this one, I should have the result in the place I showed. So let me run that. If I go to, I should have a rec2. So here it is. So if I click and open, I will see the result. Okay, just like the as doc. So I have model one OLS this one I'm able to show what is the name of the column in the as doc you are not able to show what is the name of the column and here it shows OLS random effect fixed effects and uh, this is the models I'm running and standard errors automatically are in the parentheses and it shows there and it also shows the level of significance. Very nice. Uh, this is R square. So this is one way of reporting. But let's see 
The other parameters that may be reported as we in include no models. As I mentioned again, anytime you want to add a, another column because of different model, you have to close the word file. So I have to close the first one. Okay, so here I run the remaining one, and here I say uh, the same using a rec2. If I change this one, then it will go to different um, file, but I want them to be in the same file. And here, every, everything here, I change the column name and say re random effects all these are the same and here is the same specification as I have here here I want to say that I can change the decimal point for standard um, the standard errors I can also change the the decimal places if I want them to be different from those, those are the standard errors and the, the B test the coefficients but I want all of them to be the same. That is why I have only one specification here. But here is another way of showing it in case you want to give different number of standard errors. Okay, so the rest is the same except here I say append. So if I say append, it will be added to the previous table. So the same goes for the rest of the models. So I will run the rest of the models and add them to be appended. You see they're all running. Yes, all running. Okay, they are done. So I can click here and open the file. So here you see uh, model 1 is OLS, model 2 has um, random effects all the way to GMM. And you see all the parameters uh, shown correctly. These were not able to be executed in the fixed effect, therefore, it shows that you can delete. And here you can see that number of uh, ID, this is the number of units we are observing, are uh, reported here. Unlike in the ASDOC, you only see number of observation, but you don't see the panel aspect. So this is something that a REC2 can do and ASDOC cannot do. And you will notice that R square is reported by the chi square belonging to random effects, Hosman and Taylor, and that of the GML are not reported. These you have to report manually. So you just go back to the table and for example you copy all the parameters not available in this so here we don't have r square but for the random effects we have r square okay so this is how we use the asdoc to report uh, regression results and this is the one i use most of the time so you may choose between a REC2 and a stop or in the using STAP. The STAP will look at that in the next video. Thanks for watching.